I know in some subject areas outside of engineering, pro bono work's actively discussed within degree programs. I'm thinking of the, the legal profession, for example. Um, law students know about pro bono work even while they're studying. Uh, I'd love to see that we start talking about volunteering and giving back as an integral part of our profession from the first day of university. Can you perhaps both comment on the role of universities in supporting that, that cultural sort of shift or, or greater recognition of the value our, our profession brings to society? I'd go further and I'd take it into the schools. Yep. I reckon, uh, you know, we're losing kids making up their mind about, you know, their, their, their career options in years eight and nine, and they don't see engineering as shaping their future, as shaping the cities, as shaping development, as shaping poverty, uh, getting people out of poverty. Uh, if they saw that, I reckon many more of them would take it on and um, and do and go and go go to university uh, and follow the engineering profession. Well, I think we'd find we'd attract a broader diversity of, oh, of yeah. students into the profession too if if we reframed how we present the career you know, career pathways in engineering. Yeah. Um, my sense is that we still, when we talk with school students about engineering, is to focus on the technology or the object yeah. of the profession rather than the impact that it has and the reasons or the imperative for the profession which touches every aspect of our lives yeah. and yet we seem to focus still on the gadgets and the innovation and certainly innovation is critical but mm. for a, a broader purpose that I think our profession can address in a way many others don't. Yeah. The earlier we start, the better, I think. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously we're still working on companies to think that way. But, uh, you know, if we had more kids coming through with that sort of commitment and understanding of the power of engineering, yeah. um, it would be, it would reshape everything we do, I think. I think your organisation, Engineers Without Borders, can really help in that regard as well because it's clear what you're doing and, and the way that you articulate what you're doing I think is very attractive to young people. We, we have a very even balance of male and female participation as well through our volunteer base and yes. our programs which I think is probably a testament to the sort of diversity the profession can attract as well if we reframe what we do.